Hey guys, it's Brady Mad, you can see me twice, and today I've got the Lego Ninjago movie, Destiny's Bounty, and this has 2,295 pieces. Remember several months ago, I built this set? The Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, Dem and Terno Tales, Silent Mary. And I brought this box up to show you because this one has 2,294 pieces. And that's just one less. Just one piece less than this set over here, Destiny's Bounty. And that, in that video, the Silent Mary was really cool. And you'll especially love the intro. My dad did a really good editing job on that. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, now would be a great time to do it. Because if you like toys, then you're like me. And if you're like me, then you love toys. Well, anyways, back to the box for Destiny's Bounty. This is for ages 9 to 14. The set number is 70618. Well, as you can see, this set is really really big so i'm definitely not building it alone i'm gonna get the help with my daddy let's look at the back on the back it shows some action scenes and some features the set can do well let's open this box and see what's inside in this box we've got Bag three, a random bag with lots of pieces inside. Now the sails for the boat. Bag ten, bag eight, bag five, bag seven, bag one, bag two, bag thirteen, bag fourteen, another bag with lots of pieces in it. Bag nine, bag fifteen, bag twelve. Bag 4, bag 11, the instruction booklet and the stickers. And last we've got bag 6. Well, let's start building this. Here's the completed set, Destiny's Bounty. So before I give you a close-up look and details of the boat and the minifigures, I just want to give you my first thoughts about this. 
So when I first first saw this at the store with Daddy, I have already built another boat from the Pirate Pirates of the Caribbean movie called Silent Mary. So I told my daddy, this ship looks cool, but nothing can beat the sign at Mary. So now that it's completely finished, it, I think this is more fun because the sign at Mary is like very fragile. If you touch it, it like wobbles, like bubble, 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 bubble. And like it looks like you're just going to fall over and shatter to pieces and stuff like that. But this one is not wobbly and you can play with it more. And it has more rooms and everything like that. So those are my first thoughts. So between the two ships, Destiny's Bounty and the Silent Mary, I think this one is better. So here's my quick overview. So this boat has three huge sails and then it's got some lanterns back here with a big flag and it's actually got a pipe right there. And you can see some red dragons on the front of the boat and it's got this special decoration right there on each side. It's got some fishing fishing poles and it's got and it's got some lanterns and it's got lanterns hanging from one sail to the other and it's also got some flags there. And it's got another lantern right here and more right here. So it's got lots of lanterns. Then it's got these ankles that hang on each side. And then it's got these little floaty things right there. And it's got some plants growing right on the sides. And it's got two signs in the back that says Destiny's Bounty. And then it's got a big telescope right there. And you can fit a minifigure to look through it. Now that we have saw some good looks at the outside, Let's get some close-ups of the inside of this bell. So now I'm going to remove the top level and then we'll get a close up look at the main deck in the dojo room. First let's go over the dojo room. So inside the dojo room there's two katanas and we've got a bow and arrow with a bucket of weapons and it's got a scroll and a dummy and it's also got two lights when you walk in the doorway so here we've got some lanterns more lanterns and a lot of and a lot of more lanterns with two flags you've got fishing poles you've got two a bucket with two fish We've got a coffee cup and a teapot. Then we've got a big plant growing out of here. And we've, and we've got another bucket with fish. And then we've got a shovel and a brush. And here we've got some plants growing and it's on both sides. And we've got some angles and it, and those actually, and it actually works because if you turn it, the angles can go down. And then up. And here we've got two dragons in the front. And actually there's the secret compartment right here that holds two daggers and, and the other one holds two katanas. And actually this whole dojo room can just lift up. And same with this part, where you can see the bottom floor. So both of those parts lift up. Then you have access to the very bottom. Now let's remove the dojo area and the, and the front section so we can get a close look at the inside. Okay, wish me luck that I don't break it. There we go, we've got the dojo area. 
this shadow and move this part. There we go, I did it without breaking it, yay! So let's get a close up look at the inside now. So on the inside we have Sensei Wu's bedroom with a picture of all the ninjas. And here's how Sensei Wu gets in his bed. And it's actually a walkable bed. So you just lift this part up and now he can go right inside it. Then you put it down. Now he has a blanket. And we've got some weapons and we've got a looks like a letter and then we've got a little bathroom right there and and you get no privacy because there's no door stuff blocked and so people can just watch what you're doing which is very creepy <laughs> and then we've got some more weapons right here how many weapons do you have in your bathroom at home me um probably zero how about you now for the mini figures all of the minifigures have two faces besides Sensei Wu and all of them have ninja suits besides Sensei Wu again. So Sensei Wu has this staff, wooden staff that he's holding, and he's got this traditional Japanese type of clothing with the white, white clothing and black decorations. And Sensei Wu has a bowl as his hat. No, I'm just kidding. But if you watch my other Le The Lego Ninjago movie, City Chase, then you'll get that joke. So now let's go on to the next minifigure. Let's go over Lloyd. So he's got a sword with a tassel on it. And he's got black, a black and green suit. And like I said earlier, all the ninjas have two faces, a happy and a mad. Here you've got Cole. So Cole has no sleeves unlike the rest of the ninjas. And he's got a big hammer and his colors is black, brown, and gold. Here we've got Nia. So Nia has a big spear with a black castle on the end of it. And she's wearing, looks like a type of dress. And she's got silver, black, and gray. Here we've got Jay. He's got a spike flail as his weapon. And it's kind of like nunchucks, but it has a weird looking short thing at the end and his colors is black and blue. And he's also got some straps right there. Here you've got Kai. So Kai has a katana as his weapon and it looks like he's got some protection right there. And he has, and he has looks like a katana holder at the back to hold his katanas when he's not using it. And, and his colors is black and red. Last we've got Zane. He's insane in the membrane. I have no idea what that means, but my dad said if you're around in the 90s, you'll get that joke. And anyways, he's got a bow and arrow as his weapon, and, he's, and his colors is white. I hope you enjoyed this video and this set has lots of pieces and it's very complicated but I really enjoyed building it and I'm really enjoying playing with it and subscribe to Lucas TV Toys because I've got lots of other Lego videos you can watch too and more coming up and there's one more reason why you should subscribe because if you like toys 
then you're like me, and if you're like me, then you love toys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey guys, here are some of my other videos, and I know you're going to love them, so go ahead and watch them.